In this month of March, which is Women's History Month, we featured a lot of stories about strong women here on our show. Well, today we're joined by a true Renaissance woman who is bringing to life the story of the first female ruler of ancient Egypt. Isosa E is an award-winning producer, an actress, a fashion designer, and much more. Her new stage project is a one-woman show inspired by the life of Hatshepsut, who is the fifth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. And it's a pleasure to welcome Isosa E here to Virginia this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome and you're fresh off of a production of this show over the weekend yes I am utterly exhausted <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for coming down from the DC area to see us tell us the the basic who was this woman who is the focus of this performance by you yeah so you you touched on the she's the fifth heir in the 18th dynasty she was a woman who was supposed to be a queen she was groomed her entire life she was a princess and then a queen her husband passed away and she never had a son because her son would have been the person who took the throne. But her husband had an affair, or not an affair, pharaohs were allowed to, to have other women. Mm -hmm. So the, another woman that, he ha that was sleeping with him had a son, and he was supposed to be the next uh, pharaoh of Egypt. But he was so young, I think he was like probably like five or six maybe we could say. Um, and so what happens when a boy is not young enough to take the throne is they have a regent, a woman, um, co-rules with them for a certain period of time until they come of age. So she co-ruled with this young boy for about seven years and then she just declared herself pharaoh. So ruling with her illegitimate, her husband's illegitimate son. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Putting those two families together, that's yeah. an interesting dynamic, I'm sure. Yeah, very interesting. We can only imagine what, you know, the details of that. <laughs> so where did this idea f come from for you to do this, this um, I guess, an educational piece, an historical piece? Yeah, I didn't even really even know it was going to be educational. I've just been always really fascinated with ancient Egypt. And um, as an actress I'm, and a producer, like, I never want to wait around for someone to give me a role. And I knew I could play someone from ancient Egypt. But we all know about Cleopatra. We know about Nefertiti. And then when I heard about Hatshepsut, it just really struck me, the story. Because not only was she this powerful woman who ruled for over 20 years, um, they tried to erase her from history. And, um, and so it took a really long time for Egyptologists to find out about her in the first place. And that really touched me because it's like a woman in power who did amazing things and then her legacy just gets almost you know, erased and I felt a responsibility to kind of bring her story to light. This is the perfect time, Women's History Month, to be doing something like this. Did you kind of plan it to coincide with Women's History Month, or did that just happen? It, it was sort of a divine coincidence. Like, you know, I knew I wanted to try and do something around Women's History Month. I just came back from South Africa. It, the Smithsonian Museum of National African Art reached out to me, and it was just like per it was just perfect. So I think perhaps uh, had Shepsu had some some hand in making that happen around this time. <laughs> it is a one-woman show, so kind of give us an idea of how it unfolds. How do you tell us this story? So I decided to focus instead of just focusing on her entire life and her reign. I focused on who was. Who was this woman and how did she get formed from a young girl until she actually took the throne? So it's really the journey, her journey and the behind the scenes, her parents. I play her parents, I play her lover, I play her daughter, I play uh, the priest, I play 11 characters, it's a lot of people. And you wrote this as well. I did write it, <laughs> yeah. So a hand in everything. Yeah. Uh, you had a performance on Saturday. What was some of the feedback from the audience? What were the things that they were most surprised by in this story? Um, I got so much amazing feedback that really just uh, made me really excited. People said that they were really amazed at all of the transitions between all the different characters and the fact that it was so seamless. They felt like it was a history lesson, that they learned more, that I brought the story of Hatshepsut to life. That really touched me. Um, people were, uh, there were some young girls there that were dressed in Egyptian costumes. Oh. I know, it was just, <laughs> it was so cute. Um, so it was, it was, a, it was wonderful feedback and I am really proud that, you know, we were able to do justice to her story. And if you look back through history, there were women rulers, but very few and still very few in this world. So what kind of lessons can we learn from her story going forward? There's much. I mean, uh, if you come see the play, you'll see at the end of the play, I sort of give a nod to the women that are existing now um, through her and, and that her legacy still lives on. But I think 
The biggest lesson, I think, is really, I hope that people come and see the play and realize that they should be encouraging young girls and encouraging their daughters and encouraging women. We should have equal pay. We should have rights over our bodies, reproductive rights. Um, and we need to just, we need to empower women. Women need to empower ourselves, but men also need to be a part of the conversation. More men need to be calling themselves feminists, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah. that's how the world is gonna change and become a better place.